just as a short reload time as well, I think. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this is our end. <laughs> no, we're still falling for something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. That's how that saying goes. <laughs> what is going on? He missed me. Wait, where's your little... Where's your little machine gun? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a vehicle request. 34, 1940 and the IL-2M1943. Now I'm not a huge fan of T-34s, but I played three matches of the T-34 in 1940 and things went awfully well. And by awfully well, I mean two double aces in this particular vehicle and then not so good in the IL-2. Things could have gone better, but what would our channel be without me crashing an aircraft into the ground? So, what makes this vehicle special? It's the first T-34 that you can unlock at 3.3 without investing in some premiums. And it's a very good vehicle at that. It's got excellent mobility. When we look at its armour, we've got 45mm of protection, rolled homogenous at almost 60 degrees of an angle. When we look at the turret, it's the same thickness, but we have a lot of flat angles and even a Stuart's 37mm could go straight through this and kill crew. However, at range, this is a very small spot to aim for. We've got overlapping angles as well, round about the breech and the mantlet. And because this angle is curved, we will be bouncing a lot of shots if they go too high or too low. Now we can angle this thing effectively as well, as long as people don't get a shot on the lower part of our hull, but mainly the weak spots come in the form of the turret itself. Speaking of the turret, we've got a 76mm gun that's housed in here, and the ammunition choices for this thing are very good. You've got the BR-350A that can pen 78mm of protection at 30 degrees at 100 meters, which is honestly good enough. And for things that are a little bit more chunky and point blank, we can load some AP as well. But in reality, to use this vehicle well, we have to utilize its mobility and flank and spank. Anyway, enough talking. Let's go take this thing out. Okay, abandoned factory. Actually, this is perfect. But <laughs> I don't know how this keeps happening. This is a full down tier. And a tank that's very good in a full down tier and very good at brawling. So we're gonna go lucky here. Now we are against Germany, so that's an advantage against flat armor, not angled. And uh, yeah, we don't have to deal with 50 cals either from the sky as much. We do have the Swedes to compete against though. Luckily we're at a BR where the SAV doesn't exist. So we should do pretty well here as long as I don't mess things up. Okay, I'm gonna set myself up in this little warehouse, much like I did with the T-14. We got a Stug coming our way, which we can deal with. I'd much rather a cleaner shot on him though, than try and hit him through this bush. Patience is... Patience is key here. Stug's moved up a little bit more. There's some enemies on the A cab right now. We're gonna have to make a move very shortly. If we can get rid of this Stug I would be very happy. We can kind of move a lot f more freely if we get rid of this guy. Very dangerous target. I think he's gone behind this wall. No, he's not. Okay, we got him knocked out. Let's go help our buddies over on the cat. Hopefully we don't get shot in the back. Marder H was a scary boy. We should get him before he reloads. Terrible shot. Stop paying attention, no. Okay, we got lucky there. <laughs> that was a, an absolutely awful shot I hit on that guy. You got a dude right here. Oh, that's not ideal. Okay, send him back to hang it. Is there anything else going on over here? 
A cab's still not being decapped right now. Oh my god, what the hell? It's a Swede. Okay, no more meatballs for you. Is there another one there? Or we just don't have somebody on the cab yet? I think there's another one on there too. You see this firing at someone? <laughs> what is going on over here? Oh, there we go. There we go. I think, uh, yeah, it was a... Uh, it was an SPAA. I think it was the, the Mad Max truck that was sitting on the cab somewhere. Just couldn't see him, obviously. Something's on B, but it's too risky to move out this soon. Teammate just died behind me. Oh, what's out here? You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the risk here. See if we can get this guy. That's meme wagon. Oh, there's another one. Try and blind this guy with machine gun. Can't because run out of machine guns. <laughs> Terrible shot. That guy's going to reload before me, unfortunately. Bounced another one. Oh, I have no idea where we just got hit from. Probably my... Oh, yeah, my left-hand side. Um, Can we shoot him before he can reload? Yes, we can. Okay, our track is out, but our transmission's almost... The transmission's done as well, is what I meant to say. It's early in the morning for me, and I've just had my coffee. Okay, I just spotted another stug, it looks like, or a sta. Is he chasing? Maybe that's a... Uh... Oh no, there he is. Goodness me. I must be invisible to the enemy. I don't know how I've survived this long. <laughs> We're close to a double ace already. Okay, knocked our track out. Uh, did he pen us as well, maybe? Oh, that's a possibility. Actually, I'm going to angle here. What is this? Oh, we got a hit on him. This is not good. That is a very scary gun. Okay, he was a bit late on the shot. And I think that's now... Yeah, 10 kills. 10 kills. <laughs> Imagine we get 10 kills in a T-34 and I fall down to here, though. Imagine. This, is there two here? I think there is two here. Oh, I tried to... I tried to jink that shot, but it didn't work. Oh, APDS is eating me alive. I think this is our end. <laughs> no, we're still alive somehow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. That's how that saying goes. <laughs> what is going on? He missed me. Right, where's your little, where's your little machine gun port thing? There we go. <laughs> okay, now we're in trouble. <laughs> 13 kills. It took so much to bring us down. <laughs> oh, why is the T-34 like this? We got APDS, finally. Mm, we got a HE100 behind us here. I'm going to ignore him for now. Let's get some ground targets real quick. C cap is completely uncontested, but I don't see any enemies down there. Oh yeah, I see one. We're going to have to go get him in case he decaps. He's the priority right now. See how accurate these guns are? Yeah, they're very accurate actually. Those rockets were way off. I think I'm used to the other IL's rockets. Okay, let's see what we can do with this guy. I'm not sure what guns this guy has. A seven sevens. And he's focusing my tail. He messed me up pretty bad. Come on, Rudder. Come on, Rudder. We can do this. He is going to fly around to his airfield, very likely. Okay, that's the game over now. <laughs> okay, he kind of faced us the wrong way where I wanted to go. I kind of wanted to go up onto the the ridge side, but Gaijin has this funny way of 
spawning you near your own cap zone rather than facing the direction to be aggressive. I never understood that because it takes longer to get to the enemy's cap zone than it does to get to your own cap zone. So surely they would have it the other way around. I just don't, I don't understand Gaijin's logic. You seem all these tiny little things make a huge difference to like your experience whenever you're playing a video game. I don't think Gaijin really knows how to refine what they've created. Anyway, I want to go. Okay, now I just hit a rock and read my track out. Is my top speed really limited now? Okay, now my track's red. I can't neutral steer properly. Oh, there we go. Here's another thing, right? Why can't we repair a red track even though it's making my tank drive like crap? Why, Gaijin? Why is this still a thing? It's going to make a lot of difference to me because I had a other rock I couldn't see. Um, being able to neutral steer to bounce incoming fire is not an option anymore. It's going to take us a lot longer to react to that. It makes no sense to me that you can't fix something until it's completely broken. Or let me completely break it. Surely. <laughs> I don't know. Poor little Stuart. I don't know why he didn't attempt to make a... Oh my god, there's a whole conga line of tanks coming this way. I'm going to kill the thing that's more risky to me. That AMA has got heat though, so that's a problem. Definitely want that Chaffee dead first though. We're in a good spot here right now. Where is this AMA gone? Is he just chilling in the smoke? Oh no, I can see him. Oh my goodness, that's an explosion and a half. There's two guys up on the cap. Oh. Okay, I can't really move anywhere till this guy's gone too. No, I think we're at 37, possibly higher. Not a full down tier for sure though. Oh my goodness. Low Crusader. <laughs> I don't know if that guy could even see me. I noticed I was there. Okay, we just took a shot into our loader. Get this guy to drive out a little bit further. You must know I'm trying to flank him. Is that a Swedish boy? Nope, it's a Crusader. And then we've got another guy on our left here. We'll deal with those guys later. Oh, that's an M10. He has to go, so definitely 3-7. Positioning is everything on a map. Another one down here. That's a big old Sherman. I will sacrifice my life to kill this man. And we've got another one on this side. No idea where he's pushing up. It's elite. And an M3. Two different M3s. <laughs> now this thing can clean me out pretty easy. Let's drop some artillery on him. I think we're safe right now. Own artillery landed right next to me. I missed my shot on that guy. And unfortunately, that, that Sherman would have been a nice kill to get. M3 died. Let's see if we can set up for this Sherman driving down this valley. He should appear here. Eventually. Hands are three L there. I thought I could hear an engine. Yeah, you really don't want to take a Sherman on head on. You're better off waiting for a better an opportunity to take him from the side. Okay, this guy here, I'm not sure what this is. Japanese maybe? Got an awful shot on him. All my strapling get caught in the driver's hatch. It's fired though. 
Thing's got a reasonable reload, not terrible. Now he's dead. Just a Sherman down here now, somewhere. I uh, could get cocky. We got nine kills. It's probably a very risky thing to do. Um, oh, we're marked on the we're marked on the map because we're close to the spawn. Looks like this guy's down here though. Still, oh, that's not good. Tried to get underneath the manlet. Use our speed to get this guy. <laughs> yeah, if in doubt, flat out. Yeah, if anyone knows the man who that quote comes from, I'll be very proud of you. <laughs> he wasn't expecting that for sure. There we go, double ace already. There's something else fired at me from over here wherever I was pushing that guy. I want to get away from their spawn though. I don't particularly want to be here too long. Oh, something's chasing me. This isn't ideal at all. That's uh, Chuckle Mark 1. Oh. Ouch. Come on. Oh, I can't see him because of the fallen tree. Where is he? Hello? Okay, we got his breach out. How are you going to play this out, dude? I got a 30... 30 second... Reload on this. I think he's only got HG on that... Uh, owl gun. Okay, that's going to cost him a little while. He's still pushing. Don't make me turn. I don't want to turn. <laughs> it's going to start my repair all over again. Such a long reload time with a red gun or two. Okay, now he's dead. We got nine seconds to wait before we can move again. Give it some time. It's like facing the a boss guy from Skyrim whenever you meet a Churchill. Okay, we're good now. We got some support here from my teammates as well. We got plenty of enemies left. I want to get out of here. I don't want that to happen again. I didn't realise that Churchill was there. I thought my engine was making a funny noise. It turns out it was just an enemy. <laughs> Seen an enemy up there. I think we can maybe just start the decap on B. Get some pressure on the enemy. I think the majority of them are hiding near their own spawns anyway. Which is why I think Gaijin decided to make the choice that you could drive into. The enemy spawn, just to get rid of these people who do this. Otherwise battle's gonna take a long time. Now we're ahead by 10 kills right now. So as long as too many of us don't die. Should I just take the IL-2? Where's the sky looking? We got one enemy air coming in. Let's find out what this aircraft want, wants to do. Get an FL-10 climbing here. FL-11, sorry. The okay, M3's dead. We've got a tank in our own spawn as well. Where is he going? I can see him. It's a little Stuart. Uh, no engine, unfortunately. Long ass reload. Oh, he burned out. This is on 12 kills. We just took a shot from somewhere. Now, what is that medium tank of some sort? Let's go. Let's go, T 34. Can we get the lucky 13? Oh yeah, it's a Lee. He's dead. I feel 11 got him. Now, where's this aircraft at? There's two, actually. There's two planes. 
What is going on here? This pilot's flat. Did you see that? <laughs> this pilot was outside of his plane for a second. I missed him. It's the Vickers. 40 millimeter. Hurricane. I don't know if I'm even scared of that, to be honest with you. Five Sherman just died over here. We got a Tisma up. Very few enemies left. I'm gonna hop in my aisle too. Let's do it. Okay, Spitfire and Yak just crashed into each other. We got another aircraft coming in though. Our team's still putting pressure on that cap, so it means we get two ground targets and one aircraft up. So looking for the two guys on the ground is gonna be difficult. Look at all that smoke too. Now we can kind of dogfight in this thing. And uh, honestly, I don't mind doing it. Even the armor belts on this thing are very good. And taking down aircraft. Depends what this thing is though. Looks like a hurricane. Or maybe not actually. <laughs> okay. Well, there. <laughs> I thought we were going to get an epic dogfight in the aisle too, but it turns out no. I don't see anything down here. Got two enemies. Somewhere. Oh, they're both down here. Some sort of anti air shooting at this STRV. And then there's a tank, two tanks now actually. What is that? Is that was an M16 who's now dead? Okay, cannon time. Mm, I just missed with the rockets. I actually put the shot side either side of the target. God, I'm so tired this morning. Matilda's just died. I think this thing's got a lot of roof armor. Nope, not enough though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still not enough for the mighty 23 mil. One guy. No idea where he is. He's up on this side now. That's an M3 Lee again. We're fine. <laughs> That's gonna be the last kill, I think. No, one more. Another uh, Matilda or Valentine. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're, my goodness, we're so close to that mountain. <laughs> it wouldn't be an Oddboss video without crashing into a mountain, though. No. Or the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 14 kills, oh my goodness. So there we have it, the first T-34 that isn't the premium prototype, fantastic vehicle. It's got a little bit of a lineup as well you can bring out, there's a lot of tank destroyers and stuff that you can over tier slightly and still do really well, or even if you bring a 3.7 lineup out and have it as a backup it can still do fairly well. Maybe I'd recommend uh, probably the SU-57 against all of my fibres of my body, still a really good gun, a steady. I mean, there's even, really, you could take out the ZIS-12. There's a lot of vehicles here that are very viable, especially at this battle rating. As for aircraft, you've got IL-2M. I mean, you have a plethora of IL-2s. You've got all sorts of different I-16s, donkeys, and uh, yeah, Chaikas. There's so many decent vehicles at 3.3 you can bring out for Russia. You can have yourself a super nice lineup. Anyway, that wraps up for today. See you guys tomorrow. Much love. Bye-bye.